Did you know that there are over 10 million EVs on the road? And according to the U.S. Department of Transportation, more than 200,000 EVs were sold in March 2022, setting sales records. Now, when we say the word EVs, what comes to your mind? Zero carbon emissions, low noise, high efficiency, flexibility in grid operation and integration. Electric vehicles, EVs, are a promising technology for achieving a sustainable transportation sector in the future. So you think every automaker would jump on board right now? One reason established automakers are now selling electric vehicles is the growing focus on renewable energy sources and the need to lessen transportation's negative effects on the environment and climate change. Even while the demand for electric vehicles has increased, a surprising number of businesses have yet to announce plans to produce their own all-electric models. However, things are beginning to change this year as some of the biggest automakers in the world are turning their attention to electric vehicles. Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Edge. In this video, let's talk about Toyota's insane master plan to shut down the entire electric vehicle industry. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss out on our upcoming videos. Toyota, a Japanese automaker, is being criticized once more. It's because the company's decarbonization or battery electric vehicle programs have once more not made enough progress. An updated analysis from environmental activist group Greenpeace demonstrates how far behind the competition Japanese automakers are. Now, the group said that Japanese automakers have had trouble releasing fully electric vehicles in the past. Although Toyota's Prius was the first hybrid automobile sold in mass quantities, little progress has been achieved by the company and the nation since then. Modern innovations like quantum computing, smart farming, and bullet trains are all developed in Japan. This makes it a strange topic to discuss. Why then does it fall behind in EV and decarbonization? For almost a decade, Toyota fiercely fought electric automobiles. However, they failed to consider how things might alter in a few years. For instance, the executive vice president of sales of Toyota North America was quoted as saying recently, I don't think the market is ready for EVs. He added that he wasn't sure the infrastructure was in place at the time it was needed. Basically, by the end of the decade, every automaker intends to provide entirely electric vehicles. Even the demand for EVs is more than the supply at this time. In addition, three other states have taken action to prevent the sale of gasoline and diesel automobiles by 2035. Tesla is a prime instance of this. In the past few years, a California-based startup with hundreds of thousands of ardent supporters and millions of automobiles on the road has become well-known. Toyota CEO Akio Toyota presented his company's updated and expanded plans to enhance the production of battery electric vehicles in December of last year. Additionally, there were numerous guarantees of massive output and great wealth. Toyota established a goal of 3.5 million battery electric vehicles annually by 2030 in a 25-minute media event. Yes, you heard it right. 3.5 million battery electric vehicles annually by 2030. Both Toyota and Lexus vehicles in every market group will be used to achieve this goal. Additionally, a stunning $70 billion has been pledged for electrification as a whole. What exactly does this all mean? And how can we put Toyota's promises into proper context, especially when viewed through the lens of a carmaker that appears to have been dragged unwillingly into the production of battery electric vehicles? The amount of money invested in electric vehicles by manufacturers over the last two years is mind-boggling. Stellantis announced a $35 billion global investment in EVs on Electrification Day last year, mirroring Tesla's Battery Day. While GM and Ford competed to see which Detroit automaker would invest the most in EV batteries and assembly plants in the United States, several all-electric vehicles have also been announced in Europe and China intends to dominate the global EV battery supply, just as it does photovoltaic solar cells and small-format lithium-ion cells. This was followed by Akio Toyota's $70 billion statement, 
which was the largest ever made by an OEM. The announcement hit the headlines in the business press, and some interpreted it as Toyota admitting that electric vehicles are the way of the future. The term electrification has long been misunderstood by the media and does not refer to electric vehicles. The majority of these will be Toyota hybrids similar to those seen over the last two decades or plug-in hybrid versions of the same vehicles. Toyota, on the other hand, has stated that it will invest $35 billion solely in battery electric vehicles. Even if this simply puts the company neck and neck with GM, it indicates a significant increase in its previous EV targets. Toyota's electric vehicle ambitions are expanding and becoming more expensive. Toyota plans to increase its battery technology spending by 500 billion yen, that is $4.4 billion, up to 2 trillion yen, according to Akio Toyota. Toyota intends to invest 4 trillion yen in battery electric vehicles over the next five years, including capital expenditures and research and development. Toyota will also invest 4 trillion yen in hydrogen-powered hybrid, plug-in, and fuel cell electric vehicles in the future. Toyota is now planning EV variants for their vehicles as a result of this shift. At the Los Angeles Auto Show, Toyota unveiled the 2022 EZ4X small SUV, a coupe SUV, a compact SUV, a medium sedan, and a massive SUV with third row seating were among the other four. Toyota and Lexus EV concepts were added, bringing the total to 16. While Toyota will offer electric vehicles across the board, Lexus will be the company's EV front. A new chapter for the premium brand was demonstrated with an RZBV SUV camouflage. It's as simple as imagining an RX that is solely powered by a battery. Similar to General Motors' announcement that Cadillac, the company's luxury brand, will transition to electric vehicles. When it comes to automotive innovation, Tesla has also taken the traditional route of first launching its products in the most expensive vehicles. Toyota's luxury brand intends to sell only battery electric vehicles in Europe, North America, and China by 2030. That is only eight years away. And just 23 years after Tesla, it intends to have all of its global sales be EVs by 2035. It is critical for Akio Toyota to examine the company's history of electric vehicle development and research. Toyota designated the 1996 Toyota RAV4 EV, a battery electric compact SUV available only in California, as a compliance vehicle. It is a vehicle that is only available in the quantities and locations required to meet regulatory requirements. But how committed is Toyota to electrifying its fleet? Toyota will now go to any length to obtain something it desires. Automobiles are frequently improved over multiple generations, even if the initial concept was mediocre. But the most pressing concern is whether electric Toyotas will be competitive in EVs while maintaining the brand's reputation for dependability and longevity. During its initial release, the BZ4X appears to be lacking in basic features. Toyota expects the EPA to rate a 2022 model's range at 250 miles, which isn't great. The car, however, will not support plug and charge and will not direct customers to nearby charging stations via its navigation system. It doesn't even have a front trunk. And even more shockingly, no glove box. Toyota, on the other hand, is the first manufacturer in the world to guarantee that its EV battery will retain 90% of its rated range after 10 years. This is a significant benefit for first-time buyers concerned about range loss, which is one of the most common concerns among those considering purchasing an electric vehicle. To be sure, Toyota is honoring its guarantee by reserving extra battery capacity, allowing the car to maintain a consistent driving range, even if the battery eventually wears out. So far, only a few companies have guaranteed the battery capacity of their electric vehicles, and none have guaranteed it for the next 10 years. In the end, it will all come down to how well Toyota's vehicles compare to the competition and how many of them the company hopes to sell. However, the company has yet to persuade EV supporters that it is serious about the technology. However, 
Toyota is already well established in the EV market. That is undeniably advantageous in a highly competitive market. Will you consider purchasing a Toyota EV in the future? Is it too soon to make a decision? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and let's talk about it. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss out on any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.